first and foremost I want to come into my model browser and I want to take and turn the fixture component visibility off. That way I just have my part representation. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the part. Now you can do this either in the model browser within the tree or you can do it directly on the screen. This is the way that I recommend doing it is by using your right click and towards the middle of the right click drop down menu you're going to see this component option. Now go over to the arrow on the component and halfway down there you'll see replace. Now there are two here that you're going to use and that's replace and replace all for a revision change. Now, now you see I have two shortcuts here that you can use. I like to use the mouse and just left click on these. Now replace all is a situation where you have multiples of this particular component and you're going to replace all of them. In this case, we're going to replace this individual component. Now that brings you, it brings up the part manager to replace the component, and we're just going to search for that revision. And just like that, that component's replaced. All the mates are assigned to this new component. Everything is updated on its own. I can come into my cam, and now all we have to do is see what we can salvage from our program. And I say that because oftentimes what happens is, is that the geometry has changed so extremely it may not work. So I'm just going to highlight my first setup, and I'm going to hit Generate. Anything to where the geometry hasn't changed so significantly that it's lost its origin point from where you selected the chains it's going to regenerate itself. So let's see what we actually salvaged here from our program. Looks like we've got our facing. That's good. We've got our bores. That's also good. Bore, bore finish. And we have our thread milling. Now our thread milling stayed the same because that bore diameter did not change. That's fine. What we're actually going to do for this is we're going to change that in a moment. Now our drilling did change. That's because the core hole itself changed and it's actually got some added geometry to it. So we're going to go back and we're going to redo those holes. And we're probably going to switch operations. We're probably going to take these holes and we're going to drag them down to OP2. Uh, the reason for that is because now they have counter bores on them. And I would like to show the functionality for what you can do with drilling with counter bores. So we'll go ahead and shove that down to OP2. And we've got our single chamfer. Now, the chamfer did change here. They modeled in the chamfer on this part. So our contours that were originally deburring in the top of our rings have changed. Well, that's OK, because what we can do here is just reassign that geometry. And it's quite fast. You just come into your geometry tab and select the new contours. What is going to change is what we had set up in our chamfer. So what we do want to do is delete this chamfer width. And we're going to go ahead and just change that up a bit. Hit OK. And now that updated that chamfer. So let's go ahead and just do OP2 real quick. We'll regenerate what we can. We are going to play around with the model a bit to get the, the new geometry in place. But what can be salvaged, again, will be salvaged parametrically. There's our face. Looks like we've got our chamfer. And our radiuses did not change. So we were able to keep a lot of those tool paths and just regenerate those tool paths on the rev change. So you'll see our final contour around this part has changed. That's because the geometry at the bottom kind of went away. So it lost that chain. So let's go ahead and look into the geometry see what happens. So yeah, it lost the geometry. Well, that's no big deal. We can go ahead and just left click on that and just make sure that in your heights tab, instead of selected contours, we go by selection and we select that bottom face. So we were able to salvage quite a bit of that toolpath.